this video I'm going to be showing you how to create this parts here uh, with the given uh, dimension as given here so let's get started on it first you want to go to new select English standard create new select the XY plane select the circle uh, click somewhere over here and what we want for this one is going to be 1.35 say ok and then select the constraint dimension here because we're going to constraint here and here to be 0 from here to here just type up uh, 4.65 divided by 2 you'll see it pretty soon here say ok select the extrude we want symmetric on this and the dimension that we want is 0.67 and go to more we want to do a taper of uh, minus uh, 1.28 as you can see now it's kind of tapered so we want to go back to sketch S select XY again for the plane Draw another circle somewhere up here. Type in one inch for this. Go to the dimension to do a constraint. We want zero. And we want that one to be 4.65 divided by 2. And say it OK. Do again, extrude, symmetric. And then go to more. And the taper that we want for this one is minus 0.97. There you go. So I'm going to change my view here for this one because um, it will be a little bit easier to see what we did there. Okay, Now we're going to draw the line from here to here. Uh, first we want to go into back to the sketch. Select the XY plane again. Come down over here. Hover by here. As you can see, go select the uh, slice graphic. It will cut it in half that's all it's doing so uh, then we want to do is to go and get the project geometry for this one and this one and then what we want to do is go line get it to snap on here somewhere the yellow dot there same thing here get the yellow dot there and we want to draw a construction line here just to give it a good one but first you want to just draw a construction line just like this here uh, normally I would do is just to constrain these to be zero so then now it's just right there so it won't go nowhere then select the dimension again hover over till you get the dot and the construction line we want this one to be a point six five minus two actually point six five divided by two and then we're doing the same thing over here with that dot there 0.325 since it's half of uh, 0.65 for this one here we want this one to be uh, 0.87 divided by 2 so that's half so now we know that it's 0.435 so what we're going to do is the same thing select that dot there point four three five so there you have it it's all constraint um, so it said okay on this one let's see if it's gonna extrude it for us so now we got the extrude going we're going to select symmetric again and the given dimension for this is point two uh, one and now we're almost done so now what we want to do now is just draw draw a hole through here as a given um, dimension there so we select uh, XY and select there again just to see the center there select the circle there like that and select project geometry and do the same thing there select geometry and now we're just going to draw a diameter of it the inside diameter is given one inch and over here it is given 
0.72 and say OK. You can't really see it, but it's there. You go to extrude. There is you highlight the inside there. As you can see, it's lighter. We select that and select the inside there. Go to cut. And what I usually do is just go into through all. And then since this is going to be symmetric cut both way, we just say OK. There you have it. The whole through. What we're going to do now is just to add a little ribs depth in here, just like what it's given to us. So what I usually do is select that, say sketch. I would go to offset here. It doesn't matter what it is. Uh, from here to here is going to be, let's see, 0.13. That is what's given to us. 0.13 all of them are 0.13 just delete this delete this select the extend 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 and say OK and we're going to extrude select the inside highlight here what we want to do is cut and the dimension for cutting it is only 0.09 so that's what we're going to type there you have it it's cut through and what we're going to do is mirror it, hit this one to put on the opposite side of it there. So let's go to the mirror, select, select the mirror plane here. And then what we want to do is select the axis XY plane. As you can see, it's show a little preview over there. Say OK. Now we have both sides. What we're going to do now is select here, say it's sketch. draw a line straight up usually what we want for this one is 45 degree angle um, I'm just gonna draw an extra line and we could delete it here in a little bit select the dimensions here and here type in 45 degree because that's what we want now what we're gonna do is just do an offset actually delete this one first go to an offset select hover over it bring it out about let's see that is 0.15 so just click there click there drop there dimension for that is uh, 0.15 let's see if it's going to be even so what we want to do is just do the same thing let's type in 0.15 divided by 2 let's see how this one, 0.75 there you go you have that as you can see, it showed the yellow line, but what line we want is this one here. So all we have to do is, you could do either way, trim this off first. What That's what I'm going to do, just to clean it up a little bit here. There, there. And then I'll just draw a circle. And we know the outside diameter is going to be 1.35. So there you have it. What we want to do is cut this off here. Let's do a little trim, trim, trim. Actually delete that one so now we have it all inside there and trim the outside here too just in case uh, say ok do the extrude we want to do extrude cut so select cut and the dimension the depth that we want for this is 0.03 there you have it we're almost done here um, what we're gonna do next is gonna do an array a circular array here so what we want to select is this one here select highlight that extrusion that we did and then select rotation axis so the axis that we want is right here just highlight the there as you can see it shows up so what we want is only four for this side and the opposite side we're just going to do a mirror later on say okay there you have it now we're going to do a mirror so go in the mirror select that select mirror feature go to xy do a little re preview here as you can see say it okay 
that's pretty much it um, everything else is dimensioned correctly uh, now all you have to do is just add the given uh, radius to here and here and inside if you want and clean it up a little bit and you should be complete uh, let's take a look at it in a there you go alright hope this help um, anyone out there doing this project here it's pretty uh, straightforward after that okay if you have any questions just let me know and I'll see if I could help you out